This is probably the most fantasy co-branding phone we've bought. So this is the world's first Harry Potter branded phone, the Redmi Note 12 Turbo Harry Potter Edition. And we also got the Harry Potter Special Edition of the Redmi Buds 4. This is by far the most sincere co-branding series coming from Redmi. According to some sort of rumors, the Custom series was born thanks to Xiaomi's recruitment of the former Oppo product managers who is in charge of co-branding products. So the customization is pretty close to what we saw on Oppo Reno 6 Pro's Detective Conan Edition and the Reno 8 Gundam Edition. So now let's check out what's inside the Wizarding World presented by Redmi. Look at the box, they did work hard on the customization from outside to the inside. The whole packaging is really impressive at first glance. It looks like a wizarding book or simply a non-magic book that must be inspired by another book mentioned in the Harry Potter story called Hogwarts A History. There's the emblem of a four houses symbol at the center and at the back. Under the school's emblem, you can see the familiar model, Draco Dormiens Nunquen Tidalendus, which translated from Latin means never tickle a sleeping dragon. And of course, we're buying a phone, so you can see the Redmi Note 12 Turbo texture down below the emblem. There's a lightning bolt symbol on the red magnetic buckle, which should be the symbolic scar on Harry's forehead. We all know that the scar is both a ban and a blessing left by the killing curse. Open the box, there's more detail revealed here, filled with a lot of spells with their hand movements. The mirror of the Rise is in the middle, which got cut out for showing the Redmi phone. So does it mean that the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts is Redmi? Well then, good job Redmi. Oh, that's a card pin made in the shape of a sign of platform 9 and 3 quarters. It's pretty well made. On the back of the cover, there's an envelope sent by Hogwarts. I believe that every Harry Potter fan has a dream of becoming a wizard in their childhood. But on the 12th birthday, most of them had not received a letter of admission and that kind of shattered the fantasy. Well, I'm no exception. But now you got another chance to make it come true in another way, which is take that acceptance letter included in this customized phone kit. Wait. Why is the recipient still Harry Potter? Well, my dream is settled again. Anyway, I'll put it aside. Oh, by the way, it's worth boasting that the envelope and letter are exactly the same as the one Harry received in the movie. Remove the panel with the mirror, now we can see the phone. The overall color is still dark red with multiple patterns that awaken our memories of Harry Potter, such as the Hedwig, a Golden Snitch in Quidditch games, the Sorting Hat, the Goblet of Fire, and so on. Take out the phone here, the biggest difference between the Harry Potter edition and the regular variant is on the back, which also features the Hogwarts school crest as a main element, which is also silk screened with Harry Potter's glasses, Quidditch, deer, and other classic elements from the movie. If you look closer at the camera module, you will find another glasses hidden here, which quite a smart design. That's very close to my imagination about a Harry Potter phone. Under the phone, there's a regular 67 watt charging suite in a lighting bolt case, which is exactly the same as a regular variant. It would be nice if it was also redesigned. Pull out the box at the bottom, there's quite a few of stickers inside and a customized phone case with a half of Hogwarts crest and a cutout for showing the left half of the phone back. Put it on the phone and it looks surprisingly good. The leather-like surface also make it feel great as well as in my hand. And there's a unique user manual designed in the form of a Marauders map telling some basic info about the phone and the Xiaomi service. So that's all you got inside the special kit. I pretty enjoyed the whole unboxing as a lot of the classic moments of the series come into my mind. It's like over 10 years. At that time, I never thought I would have a phone that is so relevant to the story. And it's a bit disappointing when I got into the software. It gave me a little surprise when both of the phone a golden snitch flies across the display and light up the phone, which has a Harry Potter thing ready. And that's probably all about the customized software features. Neither icons nor animations got redesigned, except for the unique look. The special variants has nothing different from the regular variants. We've done a review of the Redmi Note 12 Turbo. If you're interested about how it works, you can find the video link in the description. Okay, now let's do a quick unboxing of the Redmi Buds 4 Harry Potter Edition. The packaging cube also has a pretty decent patterns about Hogwarts school and there's a golden snitch on both sides. 
Open it and another lightning bolt scar appears. There's a blue-gray cable with a black sling. Take out the charging case, which is also mainly in blue-gray color with matte finish. The logo of Harry Potter and Red Me are in a golden color. On the opposite side, another Hogwarts logo is lying there. It's kind of stylish, while the shape is a bit like the Red Me Buds 3 Pro. There's a golden lightning bolt symbol on the top of each Buds, which is kind of special but doesn't really impress me. Put the case with earbuds aside and there comes the real bragging point. Redmi offers a small unique bag for storing the charging case, which is made in leather-like material with many Harry Potter's patterns. And you can see the golden snitch on the front, which makes it look very wizarding styled at first glance. If you are interested about the Redmi Earbuds performance, you can leave your ideas down below and let us know a review is needed. So that's all about the co-branding series between Redmi and Harry Potter. The phone and earbuds are pretty cool with good customized accessories. They add quite a lot of elements to present a recognizable visual style, which is quite successful. But if there are more software looks for the products, it would be much better. Anyway, I was enjoying the unboxing and likely to keep the phone as a piece of my collection. So how do you like the co-branding? Let us know down below. And if you like the unboxing, please kindly hit the like and ring buttons, which means a lot to us. Thank you for watching, and we're Funky Summer China. See you soon.